across the finish. The number 40 truck able to keep it together, coming out of turn four, leading us right now at the Danger Ranger 9000. This is the first time we're seeing the name Cameron McConkie as he goes for the battle for the lead. The Bald Eagle is out front, but 22 is serving up a little hefty dose of some contact. Looks like 22 is going to take that low line. Looks like he's going to be about a fender ahead, pulling out of turn two. Can the number 40 truck close the gap going into turn three? Looks like we've got a caution. Oh, truck number 10 is all over the grass. Oh, that's going to go on his bill. We know Cletus loves his, his grass. And truck number 20, so 10 and 20. So it looks like Nick Letal in the 20. Oh, he is just absolutely peeing all over the track. Look at that. Look at that thing is dumping right there on that skid pad. Good thing he's a plumber. <laughs> oh, look at that. 22 gets aggressive, but Bald Eagle fights back. You talk about drift Drift night. night was last night. I mean, he saved it. Full send right there out of the number 40, the Bald Eagle machine, able to keep it together, coming out of turn four. Ooh, about gets him again. A little bit of contact. Hey, these guys are out here. They're ready. What do you guys think? Been a lot of action. Great race. No, fantastic racing. Absolutely delivering on, you know, this, this event was supposed to happen months ago. Yes. And unfortunately, it had to cancel, postpone, and here we are. I, I, I actually wasn't going to call the action, and Cletus said, oh, man, it's... It's, it's delayed, it's postponed. So I was available this weekend and here I am. So selfishly, I'm stoked <laughs> to be here. And I think all the fans, uh, you know, are absolutely ecstatic to see, you know, the, the Danger Ranger be back out here and, and, and for the first time ever. Uh, looks like 96, that will be a wrap for 96. And taking a look down, that's Tyler Hewitt. Tyler Hewitt in the 96, well, that we got will be the... a wrap for him. Got the bald eagle machine just hitting the pace car. Dude, the sponsor me white is just saying, hey, what's going on here? Hey, man, got to hit the pace car. All my days of Thunder Peeper out there. As my Detroit family would say, outstanding. Our crew actually just pushed the truck off. Oh, we talked about the road closed sign. The gentleman who had the road closed wing, the, the road sign, actually just pulled off. Hmm. Well, I guess the road's closed for him. Hey, so question. Is Jack Stan Jimmy down that many laps? Or does he just drop into formation and that's it? <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll go to the transponders no, well, yeah, and we'll, see. We'll go to the transponders and see what happens because I, I would have to assume he'd be multiple laps down because he I mean he he got flipped you know probably twenty you know 15, 15, 20 laps ago. Yeah, he'd have to make some uh, right make up some time here. Looks like there's some major steam going from. Uh, Teeth and turbos out there. Parker Mitchell's truck. Oh, yeah, on the far side. Ooh. Right now we're looking at 25. That was our leader for quite some time, Jason Reisman. Looks like the helmet is coming off, and that'll be all she wrote for the Eastis Roofing number 25. Great effort there, Jason. Unfortunately, looks like that's a wrap. Make some noise for him. He was our leader for quite some time. But Jason has to retire. Let's Great effort it. there, buddy. So there you go. Look at that. I mean, his car has McDonald's on it. Is there a McFlurry machine in there that's breaking? Is that what's going on? You know, they never have ice cream. so They never have <laughs> McFlurries. Their machine's always broke, so might as well break the truck. 
That's going to be a truck to watch. Can he finish the race? We pop that motor, get too hot. Or will he pass everybody and get that W? Oh my gosh, Jack Stan Jimmy's truck has seen better days. <laughs> Yo, the chrome wheels keep spinning. Keeps them Gotta clean. love it. The 22 came out of nowhere. Haven't talked about him at all until, guess what, he challenges. He's up there. He's rubbing elbows. He's bumping shoulders. He's thrown down like it's a mosh pit at a Limp Biscuit concert. You know what I mean? Like, he did it all for the nookie, right? Is that how the song goes? You know, for you guys at home that don't know Limp Biscuit, look it up. I didn't realize how old I was until people were like, who's Limp Biscuit? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, yeah, you're it's old. crazy. Yeah, you're old. Have you, seen, have you seen photos of Fred Durst lately? I mean, he did a concert not very long ago, and he killed it. Yeah, like, it's, it's funny, this, like, resurgence of, of people being like, all right, my guilty pleasure. I'll, I'll listen to it. I loved it. I was a big Limp Bizkit fan. I, I had could, I, the I uh, could see red that. hat. I could see that. I had the New York. Yeah, like red, the, the red with the oh, white. Oh, yeah. That was a hard hat to get. Did you wear Osiris D3s? I did. I, I used had, to skate. You, you rock D3 real hard. And I had, I still have a pair at home. White Osiris. Oof. <laughs> They're cracked, though. I haven't worn them in, like, 15-plus years. Oh, the, yeah, those are yeah, all that's, white. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right, you ready to go racing Freedom Factory? Yeah, that 22 truck. I mean, this guy's come out of nowhere. But you know what? Anything can happen. Where is J.H. Diesel? I think your I think your boy has fallen to the wayside. I have not seen him for quite some time. J. H. is with a Chet. 33. Sponsor vehicle is not on the track. What? See the white flag out that means that is the last lap so the summer racing van pulling off and when they come around turn four you're gonna see that green flag being waved viciously violently let's go racing come on now who you got let's go coming out of turn four There we go, we are back racing. We are only 31 of 60 laps, and look at that. Oh man, that 22. Where Did he find a nitrous bottle like during the halftime break? What is going on here? There are supposed to be no power adders or national aspirin, all joking aside, but the 88 holds on to the lead. Boy, that 88 truck taking that low line out of turn one, coming into turn two, putting a gap on the number 22, followed by the number 40, the bald eagle machine. Dipping it down low, coming into turn four. Coming out of high on turn four. Let's see what's going to happen coming across the finish line. Can the 22 close the gap? Lap 33 of 60, and let's, let's notably talk about the Mitchell brothers. We are seeing the 99 currently sitting back there. It looks oh! Like, oh! And there we go, talking about one of them. I was talking about Cletus, but unfortunately Parker Mitchell will be parking it. Parker, a.k.a. Teeth and Turbos, parks it in the skid pad, and that will be all she wrote for Parker Mitchell. But there still is another Mitchell brother in the mix. We're seeing our fans stand on their feet. Here we go. We got that 88 truck coming into turn one. Taking that low line. Coming up high out of turn two. That number 22. About half track back. Oh, no. Cletus McFarlane uh, lost that back right tire. And Cletus McFarlane, look at that. The Mitchell both brothers. Both the Mitchell brothers are out. 
both of them, Parker Mitchell and Cletus McFarland, coming to a halt. And the 99 and 77, that'll be a wrap. Looks like that number 88 still passing everybody through that lap traffic. We'll also, appro yeah, approaching the lappers. So 88, Nathan Meske out front goes up on the number two, which is in the back of the pack. Looks like 22 is getting caught up behind the number one truck. He needs to make up some time here. The 22 and Bald Eagle, second and third. But it's all about that 88 who started 38th in the field. Nathan Meske is out here to win. He's ripping across the starting line right here. Looks like that 22 trucks and some lap traffic. There is still a lot of racing left to do, though. So much. There are still so many tires to burn. Oh, 100%. Looks like that 88 truck's got a perfect line. Can he keep it together? Followed up by that 22 truck and the number 40 Bald Eagle machine. All right, Metsky, Metsky out front still with McConkie in second. The 88 making it look really easy. We are officially 40 laps completed, 41 laps completed by our leader. Looks like that 88 now is out there all by himself. Can he keep it together? Smooth line coming into turn one. Looks like that 22 is taking a low line. About went in the grass. Yeah, and being challenged by the 13, who's not a contender, who's uh, actually in the back of the pack. So definitely needs to give way to that leader that is the 22. Let's hear it for him. Or excuse me, the 22 currently in second. Looks like the number 88 of Nathan Meski with a dominant lead on lap 43 of the Danger Ranger 9000. 88, look how much room he has. Now this is this is when you lean on your equipment, right? You're, you're kind of, you want to keep that clean air, but you have to think, drive smart. See, this is when it would be nice to have somebody in your crew or in the pit, in your ear telling your you. Your spotter. You're good. Guys, about oh, 20 cars back. Just normal pace. Keep it going. What's the temp like? How are your tires? How's the yep. car feel? How's the truck leaning? But there's nobody. So right now, he's just going to keep it going. 42 Tristan Vitetto there. Yeah, we see a lot of the drape, the racers go around him. You can see him taking the high line. That front right corner. That thing uh, got to that battle earlier this evening. What number but 40 is going to need? He's going to need a caution. The number 40 and the 22 is going to need a caution right now and a 40. He'll be able to catch the number 88. It's the only thing that's going to help him right now. You know, now now we're seeing just such a spread out field. Such a spread out field. I think this, this makes better racing given that, you know, we have more track to kind of deal with here. You know, when you get to like a bigger oval, I'll tell you what, I, I, I smell something. Something's a brewing. Something's going to happen here. It might have been those Hell Yeah Brothers. I, I think so. That's, that's something to prove. Look at the 22 trying to make a pass on turn one. And look at that. The 22 gets past the 88. But look at there on that back stretch, the, car number, the truck number 10. The truck number 10 explodes. Austin Flick. Oh. But no, the 88 Meski holds on to it. We got and the 10. It will retire. Oh, there is a there is a caution. See, this is what they need right here. The caution is what's going to be able to bring the pack back together and realistically give the 22 and the 40 a chance to close the gap on the 88. 88 in first place. It looks like he's right here followed by number 22. This is pretty intense for some Ford Rangers. Bowtie guy. But still a great race. Oh, absolutely. 
Looks like Victor's going to pull back out there, get everybody together, get them in order. Yeah, look at you can see the sparks there coming off the what they call it, rednecks with credit score boys, RWCS boys. And I'm seeing is that is that Cletus pushing his own truck? I think Cletus McFarland is. Oh, is he, is he, oh. <laughs> that's a that's Parker Mitchell bump starting his brother's truck. They're going to go off course. That's a Make some noise love. for Cletus McFarland and Parker Mitchell there on the far side. Teeth and turbos. So technically, Cletus beat Parker. Yep. Yes. It's kind of a technicality, but it's still a win. I'm not going to lie. I don't want my brother to ever win. I don't care his age. <laughs> well, as, as we get prepared, I will tell you that 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 also the Vice Grip Garage 1776 beat Cletus. Ooh, he and did. That was, that was a lot of smack talking <laughs> here because he, you know, prior to it, prior prior to this uh, this whole race here, we saw the Vice Grip Garage 1776 truck driver Derek and Cletus talking a lot of smack, but guess what? Cletus, he, he limps off course, and Derek is still running. And we are seeing the 88 and 22, and so many things happen on the course, but this is where the contact was made. We saw this Oof. tank slapper here between the two and the 48, and that was big contact. Because we're, you know, we're focusing on the leaders, but other things happen throughout the entirety of the course. Yeah, most definitely. It's like Larry Mack said, we're gonna be talking about you if you're at the front of the race. But if you're not, the only way else we're gonna talk about you is if you wreck. <laughs> <laughs> two ways yep. we're gonna talk about you. If you're in the front, or if, or if you, or if you make wall. an impact, <laughs> or if you make an impact, either with the wall, with the car, <laughs> or with sensational driving. That's right. Yep. There's there's the contact being made. Oh wow! Look at that. Wow, that truck saved it. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, the 48 did some driving there. Props to him. <laughs> Big shout out to Victor and that Summit Racing Pace van. I'm seeing the 26 pull off into the skid pad. That is not a good sign. And here is Cletus's spinning out that back right tire. Oof. Don't know how it popped, but unfortunately, just not able to continue on. So. See that back right, and there it goes. Oh. That's all she wrote for the 99, Cletus McFarland. Well, like we said earlier, he just went ahead and made it a trifecta of L's. You know what? That's what happens. You can't win them all, but you can sure try. Here we go. We're hearing over the radio, green flag will be waving. The house is getting hyped. Freedom Factory. Looks like we've got the number 88 truck taking that low line with the number 22 taking the high line coming out of turn two. Coming across that straight, about to dip down into turn three. Can the 88 truck make a pass? Looks like he's going to try coming to turn four. Neck and neck to the finish. 22 comes out ahead, coming to turn one. Nick, we are down to only half of the field left. We started with 40 trucks. We have 20 trucks left in this race. That is a sign of some just absolutely bonkers driving. It's really an endurance race at this point. Can your truck make it? Are the tires going to hold up? Is the truck going to overheat? You can lead the race the whole time. Blow a tire. You're done. Looks like the number 22 truck. Coming into turn three, got that number 88, trying to chase him down.
We are less than 10 laps left in this 60 lap race. Who's going to win the first ever Danger Ranger 9000? Brought to you by Summit Racing, Summit Racing Equipment, Danger Ranger 9000. Looks like that number 88 truck's trying to make a push coming out of turn four. Can he close the gap? Bald Eagle has found himself all the way back in fourth, but McConkie currently leading the pack in the 22. McConkie trying to stretch that lead. Looks like that number eight's trying to slingshot out of the fourth, out of that fourth corner coming across the finish. McConkie's holding him off in that 22 truck. Yep. Great execution by McConkie out front. Meski sitting in second, Waller in third, and Bald Eagle, the unknown driver. Bald Eagle currently sits in fourth with Pierce now in fifth. Got a battle going on here between second and third. McConkie out front in that 22 truck. Dominant lead right now, going down the straightaway, about to hit turn three. McConkie making it look really easy out front. Uh, again, just a, a truck that we have not spoken a lot about, but in the second half has really made his presence felt, and both you know physically as well as just being up front. Looks like the number 60, 62 truck of Waller. And the number 88 of Meski. Oh, there's contact in turn three into the grass in turn four. And that's Can a they keep it together? The 88 and 62 get into it. 62 gets a little loose, but 88 holds on to it. And it looks like, oh, we got a, we got a tire. Oh. That's, off. that's not off the truck, is it? I believe that's. Wow, oh, we wow. got a caution here. Looks like there's 55 laps out of 60. A lot can happen. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's right, let's man. hear it for him. Come on. The real street number five. You're gonna need four wheels in order to finish this race. Just FYI, Devin Pierce looks like that will be a definite oh, he's DNF. To blow a he's just letting it rip. His foot is to the floor. Let's hear it for him. Can he blow the motor? <laughs> the caution is out. Make some noise, everybody. Like I said earlier, the lap traffic, the cautions, that's how you want to race. At the end of the day, it comes down to can you finish and how many cautions. The cautions can kill you. Absolutely. It the cautions help can you save you, you as well. 100%. If you're sitting second or third, it, you're going to bunch you. up that pack, and that's what you were talking yep. about earlier is like let's bunch them together. Let's really get some racing going. Dude, that real street number five, yeah, you're minus a tire there, bro. I was like, where did that come from? And then he comes just scraping on in. It comes down to this restart. Realistically, when they come out of turn four, who's going to get the jump? That's going to set everybody apart. And realistically, it could, it could finish the race, depending they, on if we have another caution or not. Going off of everything you've seen right here, who do you think is going to cross the finish line first? We've seen 22 really show up. The 88 has always been present. And the bald eagle, who we don't know the identity of, has absolutely come out looking clean. I mean, that truck looks good he's been performing been kind of looming around the top three for probably longer than anybody else well if you ask me i think the 88 and the 40 they're going to start making a hard push they know they only have five laps left yep and depending on how many cautions we have they're going to push these trucks as hard as they can they know they don't have much time left and if they don't push the race is going to be over ultra bald waller the 62, that's the orange with the purple right there. You can see warm up, I mean warm up the tires. The tires are definitely warm. What's at stake again? First and second. They are getting entrance into the 2.4 hours of Les Mullets. Absolutely going to be a blast out here at Freedom Factor. You're going to want to tune in. Go to baldeagle.com for all the info where you and your friends can watch from the comfort of your own home. I'm going to be tuning in. I'll pay my, I'll pay my 15, 20 bucks. I'll watch. I'll listen to you and Larry Mack, or potentially Larry Mack. He might, he might be here. He might not. But Well, hopefully I can see good enough to call the race, but I think I'll be able to do it. <laughs> okay. And and these these Rangers, excuse me, do have more horsepower than the Crown Vicks, but I, I feel like the Crown Vicks take a little bit more of abuse. The, I think that the, the, the trucks being the height or, or whatever scenario, I, I, see, I feel like they're more susceptible to getting 
damage completed to them. Yeah, these Rangers, if you pit maneuver a Ranger, as you've seen two or three yep. times, they're going on the top. <laughs> so this is where that truck number five. So take a look at this. We are focusing on our leaders, but then Devin Pierce in the number five truck, the real street truck, comes into view. So 88, 62, these guys are, uh, they're getting to a, into a little tussle. And then watch this. Oh, boy. Exit stage left. I am a head out into the wall. Walls always win. Look at that tire bouncing down. So the real street truck, obviously, exit stage left. It was real street, all right. Shout out to my boys over at Real Street. Looks like uh, Victor's out there lighting those tires up in that uh, summer racing pace Ranger van. Van Ranger? Danger Power. Ranger van? Power Ranger? Oh, I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. The summer racing freedom delivery van pulls over into the skid pad and we have just a few laps less than 10 i believe we have like five laps left once we get this uh just we'll, it's we'll all going it to come down to this jump right here who's going to get the jump on this restart looks like the 22 truck out in front coming into turn one we have five laps off? left to go nick five laps can he hold off the truck the number 62 and the number 40 Boy, they're wow. running hard into turn three. Wow. Boy, the bald eagle machine is getting loose coming out of turn four. The 22 continues to be your leader going into turn one. I'll tell you what, the 22 has made his presence fell. 22 has really brought his A game in the second half of this battle and this these races. Cameron McConkey really just coming up and getting the clean air. But right now it's Waller currently sitting in second, bald eagle sitting in third. With three laps to go, you got the number 22 truck, Cameron, up front. Can the 62 truck chase him down? Coming into turn three. Look at this. I am seeing a few flags being waved, a few flags saying, here we go. We got white, then checker. White, then checker. Two laps left to go. Nick Savage, Summit Racing. This is the Danger Ranger 9022 of Cameron McConkey out front. Cam McConkey hold off Waller. Coming out of turn three. Waller trying to make a pass. The number 22 truck. Here we nope. go. One lap to go. Not today. McConkey leads the pack with Waller there in second. The bald eagle is holding back the flock. Here we go. Our final lap. Who's going to come out on top? McConkey leads the pack. Waller in second. Waller tries to dive down with one more turn left to go. McConkey leads the pack. He gets wide. He tries to block out Waller. Woo! McConkey gets the win. 22. That is Mr. McConkey. Cameron McConkey gets the win with Waller in the 62. Gets second. 22 who? Bro, Cameron McConkey. I don't know where. Literally started off at the Let's 28th position. Burnout. Archibald oh, yeah. Waller, guys, the 62. Never raced here before. Get the W. That's right, baby. Let's hear it for the 22. Woo! Cameron McConkey out here letting it rip. Danger Ranger 9000, Freedom Factory. Let's go. 22 and 62. Jackson, Jimmy, the 04, brings it on in. Guess what? Derek Weissgrip Garage did beat you, Cleeter. But an awesome event. Summit Racing, Danger Ranger, 9,000. Nick Savage, Jared DeAnda, Woo! Spicy Spence throwing it down. Cletus, you're making your way to the skid pad. McConkey puts it together. And Waller in second. Down to you, buddy. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little nervous when we flipped the truck on lap three. Who was fired up about that? So we flip a truck on lap three, I'm freaking out. Then the race started going good, man. Everyone is grooving. It was amazing. So shout out to all the drivers. Let's hear it for all the Danger Ranger drivers.
Pull on up, pull on up. We got first place. Well, guys, while he does his victory lap, let me just explain a couple of things. Right now, we have two winners, first and second place. They will be the drivers in the 2.4 hours of Le Mans. It's November 19th, our Crown Vic race. But here's, here's the thing. Not until we tear down their engine and officially prove that that engine is within rules, which means bone stock from intake manifold to exhaust manifold. So, officially, we have our first and second place winners, and also Bald Eagle coming in third. Coming in third, dude. And, uh, guys, I just couldn't be more excited, man. I can't believe we got that race off. A ton of trucks made it all the way through. A huge shout out to Summit Racing, and thank you guys, all you watching at home. Here comes our winner. We got the winner's circle. Let's head over there. Well, let's hear it for our top three. Come on, make some noise. Let's see how, he, how he's feeling, dude. Hey, did you expect to win the Danger Ranger 9000? Let me see that mullet, dude. Shake the mullet for the people. All right, real quick. Full name. Cameron McConkey. And where are you from? Boston Spa, New York. You ever raced at the Freedom Factory before? Once, today. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, congratulations. Right now, you're... you're uh, unofficially in first place, and you'll be racing in Lane Mullins. We're gonna check out your truck, make sure it's dialed in. Congrats, I'm gonna go talk to our second place finisher. Sir, we gotta interview you real quick. What's your full name? Archibald Waller. Where are you from? Houston, Texas. Yeah, Houston, Texas, hell yeah. Hey, you ever raced at the Freedom Factory before? Nope, only car shows. That's awesome, so our top two guys, never been here before. Are you a circle track racer, or? No, first time. Yeah, that's crazy. So we got two guys who, you know, don't really do this for a professional sport or anything. Coming out, built their own Ford Rangers, and they are going to be racing in the 2.4 hours of Le Mullet. So, <laughs> you're good, guys. We're going to close it off there. A huge shout-out to Summit Racing. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Alan, am I missing anything, or can I close it? Close it off. Thank you guys so much at home for watching. Thank you guys here at the Freedom Factory. Come on. All right, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to pull these trucks over and start working on them. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Make some noise one more time for Cletus McFarlane and the track staff at the Freedom Factory for putting on an amazing show. Let them hear you. Stomp those feet. Yeah, one more thing. One more thing. Hey, guys, we're going to show you... We're doing Can a little a face drum roll? reveal. Can you stomp your feet? Get us a drum roll going. Who do you guys think it was? Who do you think it was? Pop her off, brother. Ah, oh, it's Kevin Smith. <laughs> 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 Almost Trying got that first right. place, too, dude. You're leading. It was awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the Freedom Factory. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much to Cletus McFarlane and his whole Freedom Factory team. And congratulations to, uh, I mean, McConkey. The USA chants are coming in. They're bellowing through these, these bleachers. That is Freedom Factory. So, Nick, your closing thoughts. Man, what a, what a great race. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, from the beginning of the time, our beginning of the race, it's going to come down to who can finish the race. Are the tires going to last? Are you going to overheat? You got Parker Mitchell. His, his truck just overheated. Garrett blew a tire. 
J.H. Diesel, J2, not my friend anymore. <laughs> Dead last place again. These guys came out here. Number 22. No, I would have never thought no. that guy come out of nowhere. Killed yep. it. Yep. The number 88, he led for how much of the race? 22. Made it happen. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, brother. brother First event we've you. ever done together. Appreciate Literally it. just met you. Let's, let's go Last grab night. some adult libations. <laughs> thank you, guys and gals, children of all ages. Here at the Freedom Factory, I'm Jared DeAnda. On behalf of Nick Savage, Spicy Spence, of course, Cletus McFarland, the whole gang that is the Freedom Factory bunch, we'll see you online or we'll see you another time. That's a wrap for our Summit Racing Danger Ranger 9000. We'll see you next.